Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a Pearson Chi-Square test of independent using Microsoft Excel. I've set up this uh, spreadsheet, uh, it's basically only formatted and contains the observed data as a cross table. Now this is the main formula that we want to obtain and let's get started. The first thing we need are the totals, you can use the sum function which has a shortcut for it which is alt equals and then you can simply copy paste that down or use the autofill handle to do that for you and here the same alt equals and it nicely sums everything up a small note is that none of these totals should be zero if they are simply remove then that row or remove that column the first thing we have a formula for are the so-called expected values which are the values we would expect if in this case gender didn't have any influence on marital status the formula reads to take for the cell its row total multiplied by its column total and then divide by n which is in this case the grand total so for male married the row total would be the 972 the column total is then the column of the male and divide by the grand total since it's using multiplications I don't need any uh, parentheses for this you can just press enter to easily copy paste this, the rows um, I have to actually fi uh, fix the column for it, so I can put a dollar sign in front of it or press F4 once, twice, three times. For the column totals I actually need to fix the row, so two times, so the dollar sign gets in front of the 11 and this one doesn't need to change at all, so press F4 once and then it puts dollar signs everywhere. Now I can simply copy paste this formula control V and just to double check this one the divorced using indeed now the row total of divorce the column total of female and the grand total still one thing that sometimes is important with the Pearson chi-square test is how many of these have an expected value of less than five so we can simply count that which is count if and then select this uh, range all the cells and as a criteria use the oh, quotation signs and then uh, less than 5 and then close it so in this case there are no cells that have an expected count of less than 5 um, I want this as a percentage so I actually should divide it by how many cells there actually are so count and I see that I already formatted this cell as a percentage but you can do that up here and change it to percentage. In this case it's zero. Some say it has to be uh, always zero, some will say that it has to be below 20%, sometimes you will see even less than 25%. Another criteria sometimes mentioned is that the minimum expected count should be le uh, at least one. So what we can do is simply list here the minimum expected count and in this case that's going to be also at least uh, one. It's actually the 35 which is up here. Now, if you're running the uh, newer versions of Excel, there's actually a function called chi-square test, chi-square test, which asks you for the actual range, which in my case are these, and asks you for the expected range, and then will give you the significance. So if that's all you're after, and you have this newer version of Excel, you're kind of done here. Otherwise, you have to continue, don't worry, uh, don't worry, we'll get there step by step. The next thing we would need to actually uh, get a so-called chi-square value is uh, using this little formula, which is to take the observed value, subtract the expected value of that cell, square the result, so it will always become positive, so then we know the difference between uh, the two, and to put everything in perspective, divide by the expected value again. So for this one, the I do need to use parentheses now, the observed value was this, then minus uh, this, and then close the parentheses, and then use this little sign to get a uh, raised to the power of 2, and then divide again by uh, this one. I can simply copy paste this formula, and the so called Pearson chi square value is then simply the sum of all of them so in this case equals sum 
of all of these. Press enter. The degrees of freedom is the last thing we need before we can then calculate the significance, which is the number of rows minus 1 times the number of columns minus 1. So in this case, I actually have uh, 5 rows. Minus 1 would be 4. 2 columns minus 1 would be uh, 1. So 1 times 4 is 4. Uh, you can either just type that in, or if you really want to use uh, formulas, you could say count and then simply count how many numbers there are here. So that's then the number of rows, minus 1, and then uh, times the number of columns. So that's another count of these two. And then again, minus 1, and then we have our degrees of freedom. The significance is then found by using the chi-square function. The oldest uh, Excel versions have this function, which simply is x and the uh, degrees of freedom that returns the right tilt and we can also use a slightly newer version which is chi square dot and then uh, dist and then uh, dot rt because we want the right tail and choose the x again which is the chi square value the degrees of freedom hit enter and as you can see it's the same as it, the newer excel test does the same values, but now we also have the chi-square value itself. Last but not least, um, I actually created a small user-defined function that can do this all for you. It requires as input the observed values only as a cross table, and it will then calculate if you set output to 1, the Pearson chi-square value. If you set output to 2, it will give you the degrees of freedom. If you use 0, uh, it will give you the significance if you use 4, it will give you the minimum expected count. And if you use 3, it will give you the percentage of cells with expected count less than 5. I'll put a link in the description below to this file if, in case you want to use it. Alright, that's it.